Today I'm gonna clean, try to clean up the floor a bit more. Um, it's kind of nasty and try to repaint it. So I'm gonna remove the seats. I'm gonna get some WD-40 to loosen up the rail. If your seats are stuck, ideally what you want is have someone hold this down for you and then you push with your legs on the rear of the seat here. There it is, took the seats out. If you're wondering what this is, this is actually some heater lines I ran through here because I'm an engineer. Anyways, I have a heater in here for the winter. These are the tools I'm gonna use today. It's a, it's a bolty tool here. So I use the adhesive scraper for the floor and the grout and mortar for the harder glue on the walls. And I'm gonna see how that works. This is day two. I'm gonna do the other side there. Um, clean that up and then wire wheel it and try to paint it today. Battery out. Same deal as that side. Clean everything up. Alright, I got most of the tar out, well actually I got all the tar out, and I'm gonna hit it with the wire wheel once, clean everything up, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rhino line it, just because there's a lot of imperfections, rhino line it's a little thicker so it'll cover a lot of that stuff. I don't really trust the wire wheel so I'm gonna use some safety glasses, some gloves. 90 degree grinder wasn't working so well, so I changed it to the Hendra. Using the wire wheel, you want to use the right side because if you use the left side, it'll tug on you. I can't get the wire wheel in, I'm gonna use a stainless steel brush. After you're done uh, vacuuming, what you want to do is get alcohol or acetone or any type of cleaning agent and go ahead and wipe it down with some towels. I'm also going to mask off the rails for the seats so the seats can still go in there nice and easy. My girlfriend took my masking tape so I'm going to use some duct tape. I'm not going to mask this off, I'll just try not to spray over it. I'm not too concerned because it's going to be covered. If you get extra on this, it's not really going to hurt anything. But I will mask off like the wiring and maybe the, the pedals there. Got some truck bed liner here. You can buy it at AutoZone or Home Depot. Make sure you get the flexible stuff just because this sometimes moves up and down and you want it to flex a little bit. If you guys enjoy watching random guys work on their Volkswagens on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. That helps out. Thanks. There it is, the floor pan. Definitely looks a lot better. 
took about 20 minutes for it to dry. If it goes in too easy, you know you're doing something wrong. <laughs> 